Everyone's jumping into AI generated designs, but no one's talking about where it all starts the sitemap. I'm going to show you how you can incorporate AI into your workflow and what happens when I use the same prompt on three different AI tools to generate a sitemap. That's right. In this video, I'm bringing AI to your IA and that's a lot of acronyms before the opening sequence. Cue the video. A solid sitemap gives your project direction. It's the blueprint for your website and it helps you figure out what pages matter, how they connect, and how people will actually navigate your site. And if you get that wrong, well, everything downstream gets messy real quick. So what happens when we ask AI to do it for us? I tested three tools side by side, Fake Jams AI, Octopus, and Reloom to see if they could help you streamline your process. First up, Figma AI. If you're already working in Figma, this one's the most seamless to try. So let's hop into Fig Jam here. And this is your typical sitemap, manually created, text boxes and arrows, nothing special here. Now, depending on how complex your sitemap is, this could take a few minutes to over an hour to generate manually. Luckily, we have the AI feature here in the top right, and all you have to do is give it a little prompt. So let's go over here, and we will create a sitemap for a local gym website with about eight to 10 pages. You just write it in there, and you hit generate, and boom, within a few seconds, it'll start auto-generating a structure with uh, connectors and things like that. And you'll get a home page, you have a class page, within that sub pages like yoga class, spin class. So that's kind of nice. You have about pages. So pretty great. Now I want to take some time to share with you the prompt that we're going to use on the other uh, tools as well. So this is a little bit more detailed. Now the more information you provide it, the more context it can pull. So for example, we want to generate a sitemap to include all core pages for a local gym called fitness club. Now, the next sentence is a general overview of what fitness uh, club fitness is all about. So it is a welcoming, community-driven gym located in an urban neighborhood designed for everyday people who want to feel stronger, healthier, and more confident. Now, the next sentence uh, covers the features and what it offers here. So it offers group classes like HIT, yoga, spin, personal training, open uh, gym access, and a recovery zone. And finally, what's really important is the audience. Who are you serving? So we have the demographics here. We have gyms for, the, this gym is for young professionals. We have an age group here. It's for working parents and it's for active older adults who value flexibility, connection, and a friendly environment. And for fun, you can add in a little motto, your fitness, your club. So that's the prompt we are going to use. So you, again, you put that in there, hit generate, and this is what it came out of we have a home page here we have a personal training page open gym and it covers all the main uh, offerings the classes you got the hit yoga and spin classes that's what we provided in the prompt we have very complex about us so that's kind of what it generates. The thing about Figma is it's great for high level planning. AI doesn't generate the content structure for each page. So for example, for the about, or let's go to the uh, homepage, it doesn't show the structure of each section. And so you'll have to do that manually. But luckily, that's where Octopus comes in. Because not only does it generate the sitemap, but you can build out the details of each page section by section. All you have to do is start a new project and enter your prompt in the AI generate feature and voila, within 10 seconds, you have a fully generated sitemap. This includes the content for each page with each section labeled to fit the context for the page. It's also visually represented by simplified wireframe graphics with the text lines, images, maps, carousels, the list goes on. Now, to further expand on the content, you can click on the top right of the page to fill in each section with copywriting. And yes, you can also use AI to help generate that for you. And the more detailed the prompt, the more accurate it can be. It's got a bunch of cool features, including sharing it with others for feedback, highlighting sections in different colors, and creating components or what they call symbols for repeatable uses, saving you lots of time. So... That's Octopus, great tool to build your sitemap using AI. Now let's see the same prompt applied to our next tool, Reloom. When you're starting a new project, all you have to do is enter a prompt to describe the company you're designing for, select a number of pages, and what language you want. Similar to Octopus, you let AI do its magic and bam, with a little bit of confetti, we have a sitemap. Notice that each page has the structure of the content organized and labeled by a section title and its description. 
If you want to add more pages, simply click on the plus button and with the power of AI, it will generate the sections and content based on the name of the page. Similar to Octopus, you can color each page, add new sections, share it with others and make comments. However, what's unique to Reloom is that you're able to generate multiple sitemaps on the same canvas. And if you want, you can use a different prompt or even generate it using another language. Now, you may have noticed that unlike Octopus, it's missing the visual wireframe elements and what you only see is the text. Well, what's cool about Reloom is that you can take the sitemap to the next phase of the design process and generate full-on wireframes pulling from their library of over a thousand components. It'll generate the layouts, copywriting, you can change it up, make edits, and then you can even take it another step further and style the wireframe with branded colors, topography, button and card styles, and finally export the design to Figma and Webflow. Impressively fast Reloom, I wonder if you should host some speed build battles or something. That might be fun to watch. Anyways, those are the three ways to use AI to build your sitemap with speed and scale. If you enjoyed this video and want to dive deeper, consider checking out my new sitemap course in Design Champs. You can check out the link in the description and join and get access to other amazing courses and connect with some incredible people in the community. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.